Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. Welcome to episode two of Q&A Sunday. We're going to start things off, but first I want to thank everybody for all the support in episode one. We started off pretty good, man. I didn't think that the Q&A episodes was going to go so good. I didn't think I was going to get so much feedback, so many comments, so many tweets, so many voicemails. I was even getting text messages to my number. Check it out. If you want to leave a question on my phone number for the Q&A series, you may want to leave a voicemail. Now, if you text me, trust me, I will see the message, but I won't respond to it and I won't put it as a part of this series. This series is only for tweets, YouTube comments, and voicemails, all right? Now, if anybody wants to leave a question for next week's episode, make sure you comment below in the comment section or use the hashtag AskIKC over Twitter or use the number inside the description or about section, whatever you want to call it, and leave me a voicemail. But uh, let's hop into this Q&A. Are y'all ready? All right, so Ricky2K underscore Rose leaves. Are you a bigger football fan or basketball fan? I'm going to have to answer that with basketball. When it comes to being a fan of an overall sport, you have to know more than 100 people's names inside that league. So when it comes to the NBA, I can name off 100 people. But when it comes to the NFL, I can't even name 60. Truthfully, I know top five QBs, top five running backs, top five wide receivers, maybe top five middle linebackers all of like the eagle starters and a little bit of their second strings but other than that not too much can't lie to y'all i know a couple cornerbacks too but nah bigger fan of nba via youtube yad asked have i ever thought of being a sports broadcaster for the nfl or the nba Truthfully, I have not. I've never thought about being a sports broadcaster, but I would love to be on ESPN one day just to give my general opinion of how the NBA is going, what the Sixers are doing, how I feel about it, the rage, you know, but I would love to be on ESPN and even, you know, a small post on NBA.com. Why not? I would love to have my rant video go viral. Yeah. What's up? David Alpine from Carter. Uh, my name is Walker. I'm from Texas. I'm a huge fan of your YouTube channel. You inspired me to do uh, gaming and all that stuff. Uh, my question is, what made you, or when did you discover you were a Philadelphia 76ers fan? Okay, that's my question. So, hopefully you'll mention me in the video. Okay, later. All right, I became a Philadelphia 76ers fan probably around the age of three or four. I vividly remember my dad shoving all Philadelphia teams down my throat. Being from where I'm from and being in the household that I grew up in, you had to be an Eagles fan, you had to be a Sixers fan, you had to be a Flyers fan, and you had to be a Phillies fan. Even if you weren't a fan of the sport, that was your team. Straight up and down, straight no chase. I'm a Sixers fan, and I've been a Sixers fan for most, mostly all my life. And it's never changed. I never took a year off. I never took a season off. I never said, oh, next summer things got to change or I'm out. Never. Always stay loyal. All right. So Jalen asks via Twitter, who's my favorite NBA player? Now, this is one of those questions where it's like, ah, well, is it of all time or is it of the here and now? Is it just this season? So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to answer three questions within this one my favorite nba player of, of all time is michael jordan just because i witnessed what michael did i was born in 1987 so i was able to see him three p twice now uh my favorite nba player of this current season will have to be stephen curry the magic that he does on the court when it comes with the no look passes the assists dropping threes from all over the court getting past the defenders for layups and even sometimes dunking is very nice to me and uh my favorite nba player of last season was kevin durant which was the mvp surprisingly all right so reginald says who do you think is going to win the nba championship now i know this is pretty funny i would love for my 76ers to win don't get me wrong but as a realistic answer i'm gonna have to go with either the golden state warriors or i would have to say if it was the east coast team i would have to go with cleveland you don't want to see LeBron in a seven-game series. And I know a lot of people are going to say, ah, oh, please. But I'm telling you, with the team that he has, 
as soon as they start clicking on all cylinders, they will be a problem. This is a hilarious question. Kenny the King asks, do you think NBA Live will be better than 2K in the future? What I have to say to that answer is, the only way NBA Live can catch up to 2K is if they either buy them out or if they work together on a game. That's the only way that they'll catch up graphically. When it comes to, you know, core basketball, they have some good things, but they they have a lot to catch up with 2K, man. You know, they lost a lot of their developers to 2K, you know, probably around like 2011, 2012. So eh, it's going to take them a long time to catch up. But truthfully, they haven't been better than them since 2005, 2006. So, you know, with all those years in between, I don't think they can catch up ever. Oh, man, why you have to say that, man? Why you even have to bring that up, man? Why you have to even bring up NBA 2K11? That's right. My favorite NBA 2K game of all time. NBA 2K11. MJ on the cover. NBA 2K11, my crew. What? What? It was just a beautiful time back in the day. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. NBA 2K11 is my favorite NBA 2K game of all time. If crew comes to next gen and is fully functional and then everything works, then I guess NBA 2K16 will get that spot. But until then, 2K11 it is. Hey, yo, iPod. Love the videos. My question is, when can we get a black a black top station going on PS3? Oh, man. Bye. Oh, man. Um... NBA 2K on PS3. I'm sorry to say, man, but my son now owns my PS3. I no longer own my PS3. It's in my son's room, man. Um, he plays it all the time. I cannot get him off of it. Trust and believe. If you want to play Blacktop and I'm online as iPod King Carter, that might just be him in the room playing the game, man. Trust. It ain't me. Trust and believe. It's not me. But, you know, PS4, if you come on over and convert, we could definitely get some games at the rec or at the park. Just holla at me. This is an interesting question from JFade10. He wants to know if I'm ever going to do a 2K Sports slash EA Sports fan reaction on like 2K Sports fans be like or EA Sports fans be like. I made that video probably last year's uh, games. I think it was what 2K14 and uh, Live14. I think I may just do that for NBA 2K16, and if Live 16 comes out, if they decide to drop it, I may do it for that as well. That, that came out to be a pretty funny video. That's an interesting question. Um, those videos came out a while back. That's crazy. It's just giving me, it's just giving me all these new memories, man. It's crazy. But um, you know, J Fade, thanks for the question, and I hope you leave another one next time. Hey, Apple, do you have any news on NBA 2K16 or what? Um, when it comes to news for NBA 2K16, at the moment, I know that 2K developers, 2K marketing team has reached out to a few companies for sneakers, and uh, they reached out to Gatorade recently, but as for gameplay, animations, uh, new arenas, anything like that, uh, glitches being fixed or anything like that, no news at the moment, but I will keep you guys updated this year, trust and believe. All right, so Mr. Edwards here is going to leave a question that he know the answer to. He wants to know if I'm going to get an Xbox One in order to play NBA 2K. No, I am not going to get an Xbox One. I am a PS4 man to the day I die. Okay, look, let's check this out. I've been really busy. It's been really hard for me to juggle two consoles. So I'm just going to have to say, nah, man. Um, not this year, uh, when another PS4 and another Xbox come, oh, I'm sorry, another PlayStation or another Xbox come out, I'm always going to stick with PlayStation as long as they have party chat. That's all I ever wanted out of everything when I got an Xbox 360, and now that PS4 has party chat, I really don't have a use for the other console. Sorry. Hey, this your boy, Deron. I was, um, I was trying to see where will you drop a Q&A video, and I have a question for you. The question is, what do, um, what do you think, what do you think about NBA 2K16 when it come out? How do you think it will develop this from 2K16 on Xbox One or PS4? That's my question. 
and I'm out. Peace. All right. So thanks for leaving that question. I kind of answered this question. I really don't have too much news, but what I can say is that it should be somewhat of a better game as in, you know, glitches and small things that we've seen this year. Usually if 2K doesn't fix something that happened for this year's game, they always fix it for the next year's game because they want you to you say, oh, well, we fixed this, buy our product because this isn't in the game anymore. And that's how it's been for the last five to six years. If something doesn't get fixed within that year's cycle, they make sure that it's fixed for the next year's cycle. So what I can say is if you've noticed any glitches or anything like that, they should fix some of those glitches. Now, as it goes for exploits, I right here right now I'm not saying that they will fix any exploits because in the last two years every time 2k sees an exploit and they say they've patched it once they come out with another patch on top of that somehow that exploit slips right back through the cracks and we end up back at square one all right so the last question of the day comes from NJ the beast he wants to know who is your favorite college basketball team I'm going to have to answer that question with the North Carolina Tar Heels. Now, I know that I know I know you guys are probably like, where did that come from? How are you a Tar Heels fan? Check it out. I'm, I'm going to give you guys some background story. When Michael Jordan was coming up, I wasn't born. Right. But when Michael Jordan became famous, a lot of his North Carolina footage start coming out. And, you know, things about how he strived to be great in college. Right. So he was one of my favorite players before AI got drafted, right? Now, another player that came out of North Carolina, Vince Carter. What's my name? David Carter. What number do I use all the time? Number 15. Think about it. All right, now that that's soaked in, that's why I'm a Tar Heels fan because I've been a fan of two of their somewhat best players ever and i know a lot of people say well why do you use villanova every time you create a new my career character check it out i'm from the delaware county area in pennsylvania and villanova is one of the best basketball playing teams in that area so being from that area go to a college in that area go to the nba it's all fantasy but when it comes to real life i'm gonna say i'm a Tar Heel fan now this is the thing I don't watch much college basketball. When I was growing up, my dad didn't watch much college basketball. So me, in turn, didn't watch much until March Madness. So I guess you guys could say, I have a favorite team, but I don't follow them all year long. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you guys for watching today's video. I'm about to get up out of here. I got a lot of work to do for you guys. I got to drop some 2K. I got to edit new videos, all kinds of stuff. Check on my cat in the background. That's right. I got a cat. Ooh. But I'm going to highlight at you guys in the next one. Remember, if you want to leave a comment or a question or a voicemail, all the instructions are in the description. Make sure you tweet me with the hashtag AskIKC. Make sure you leave a comment below and make sure you leave a voicemail on my number. Don't text my number because you're not going to be a part of the Q&A. All right. Thanks, guys, a lot for watching episode two. Uh, make sure you like the video. Leave a comment. Favorite it. Tell your mom, tell your grandma, tell your aunt, tell your uncle, tell your dad, tell your second cousin on your mom's side, tell your fourth cousin removed from Aunt Bert. Okay, you know what? That's too much. Peace, y'all.